and I charge a 406 duo not working on output channel 2 I've connected a battery it's showing the correct voltage when we go to charge at 6.4 amps auto selection it says connection check error uh, 1305 the other channel works okay so um, it's a matter of opening up and see if anything obvious has blown I've taken the case off uh, just the top one has got a connector to the display which comes out of there it's just got a little a flip up thing for locking and unlocking pull it out and um, you look at the board see if there's any burning or anything look at this side and mainly the other side where all the power components are um, now uh, it's, it's basically symmetrical so you can compare one side to the other I use an analog meter because it's very easy to see the needle moving and what sort of uh, resistance point it is I find it easier than a digital one and you just uh, connect across just using the probes across the connections and you check it all out and everything and look for burning any exploded components nothing everything looks good looks brand new you can check these as well look around these diodes look for any solder burning on the tracks nothing 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 and uh, so it's a bit confusing uh, now, but this channel, um, now these are bank of fuses, 15 amps or 60 amps total, and the 60 amps total here, uh, they connect um, as a fuse to, from there to there. Okay, these are the fuses here, and uh, you'd expect them to be a short circuit if they're not blown, so you can connect one side and to the other, and you can see the meters going to zero. And in fact, that connects to um, actually connects to the, the negative on this side. Nothing. In fact, this bank of his fuses, 60 amps, have blown. Um, the customer said he didn't short anything out or anything, so it's unusual. So what to do? Everything else is fine. So it's just the fuses blown. Uh, it hasn't blown any of the other components that I can see, all the power components all test fine. And so, it looks like he's just been unlucky. Now, I haven't got any of these, but um, I think there's enough room to put in some other sort of fuse. You can get, um, you can get this sort of fuse. This is a, a 15 amp one. Um, we could perhaps get some of them in, or if I've got a, a bigger one. Anyway, I'm going to replace the fuses and um, hopefully uh, that's all it's going to be. Okay, I've managed to pick up some replacement 15 amp uh, small device fuses to go in there and get a pack of 10. They're very cheap from Farnell, uh, rated at 15 amps each. They look almost the same. Now, how to put them in? Well, you can unsolder these ones. But uh, you might make a mess of it if you haven't got a decent big soldering iron. Or you can uh, solder these on top, which would probably be easier. Just put them on the top and uh, solder. These are nice solder connections on each end. Uh, just solder four on top, so I'm going to do that. Soldered the uh, fuses on top of the old ones. Uh, plenty of solder on, on the faces, both sides. And uh, that would be as good as um, trying to take them off the board. Screw the heat sink back on, making sure you keep the um, insulating washers underneath these six and locate them in the holes. Uh, there's a long screw goes in there and a short one with no insulating washer goes there. Put the uh, ribbon cable back in the connector nice and square and push down the locking tab on top of it put the two screws in holding it together sideways making sure you put the um, uh, this plate fits in the grooves and the, and the one at the front 
Uh, normally I would test this before I screwed it back together, but um, I'm pretty confident it's going to be fine. So I've connected up a battery to channel 2, the one that didn't work before. It's reading the cell numbers, so um, let's just see. Uh, put it to um, 6.4 amps charge. Let's see if it works. No error message this time. Charges begin to increase. It was set to six and a half amps. The uh, balance voltages look okay. Six and a half. So, just the fuses are blown. Don't know how. The customer said he hadn't shorted anything out, but um, replace them with the uh, four miniature. 15 amp fuses. Um, no, it's working okay. No error message, so it's just a matter I can fit the, uh, oops, the base back on and um, get it back to the customer.